This video clip we've got a sitter in Blingo and uh, we changed the uh, timing belt here and we kept here the, the uh, idle wheel and the tensioner so we're going to off uh, a few bits here in the front here and uh, we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the uh, locking tool here to lock her up and first of all we're going to have to step off the front cover here and uh, Reservoir exhaust from that, off the exhaust here. So, what's our next step on our uh, Peugeot Saturn 16 HDI uh, time belt change? Next step, I want to move the exhaust here and here. Next step, I'm going to move the exhaust here and up here. I want to take the exhaust off. That's our next step. This video of a 16 HDI, we're going to change the time belt. So we stepped up all our covers and tie the bottle to one side there, for our steering bottle. Just make the fuel lines there. Half the timing covers, and we're all set up there now. And uh, we have followed the instruction manual, came with a time belt kit. So we're all set up there now to pull the belt off. Off the uh, belt, you lost the wheel first, cover, and then the jack up the engine. You need a jack to hold her up. So, once the engine secured, just the top mount there, bracket here, top mount there. And time covers, polish, off the exhaust pipe. And uh, we're using the gates power grip. And we're following the uh, suction manual, came with the uh, kit. Very important to follow the manual step by step. It comes with your uh, power grip uh, time belt kit. So we've got the belt, and we've got the tensioner, and the idle pulley. It's a good idea to check the water pump too when you're doing this operation. So uh, it's important to uh, follow the manual step by step. It comes with the uh, the uh, power grip kit. You need the wee timing locking tools as well. So uh, once you're filling in place, uh, you lock up the timing. You lock up the wheels according to the manual. And that's our next step. Okay, we've set up the time here now, and uh, you've started the pin there. I'll start the pin here at 12 o'clock, one here at 10 o'clock, and the uh, bottom one there at top dead center. So I'm just get a better view out here. So there you have it. Next step now is you have to we cover here. And we will so we've also removed the uh no you shot of that. And uh, goes there. Also take it off the crown centre. Now we'll undo the tensioner and uh, you see the pin there, it's locked in there. So we're all, 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 all the pins are in there, all locked up. So our next step will be undo the tensioner and uh, that's our next step. Our next step. We're going to remove the tensioner and we're going to loosen that bolt in the middle there. And we're going to take it off and uh, remove the belt. Now, our next step, we're going to remove the tensioner. We're going to remove the stud here. I'll take note of the position of the tensioner. And 
or the new one has to line up. Not to hold through level that little much there. And they're proper tension. Then we'll crank the engine six times by hand. And we keep the uh, crank bolt in. When you crank only clockwise, do not crank the engine anti-clockwise or else that the timing chain could jump the timing chain in this engine as well. So it could upset the timing chain, knock the timing off on the second camshaft. So you always clock the, uh, crank the engine clockwise only and that will tell you on the little manual there. So do not clock, crank the engine anti-clockwise. You'll need to knock it, uh, crank it clockwise. So just want to watch. And always and follow the little manual comes with your time belt. So next step now, you need to remove that bolt there and uh, undo the tensioner and remove the belt. So we'll use a 13. Let's just come off there now. I've got the belt. Now, next step, we put the little poly. Tighten it up. It's a 16 mil. If you tighten by hand in, you can do it with a torx spanner. Check out the torx spanner. It tells you on the manual what the torx setting is. You can tighten my hand and lightly and then torque it with a torque spanner. The next step is the idle. Pull you on the next step now from the uh, tensioner pulley. That's the next step. Uh, 